Hey guys, Marty here from Nintendo Dads with another eShop Spotlight, this time for a really cool game, Devious Dungeon from Ride to Like It Games. And uh, these guys are, are, are well known for like League of Evil and several other games that have already come to the Switch and all kinds of other platforms. And uh, if you uh, love 2D platforming RPG style games, you're going to love Devious Dungeon. I'm going to dive in here and actually start. You can see I've been playing this game uh, even playing it today, I'm on level 12. I'm going to dive in and start a new game here just to show you what this game is like. The story is told, Dark Times, Hilltop Castle, blah, blah, blah. There's a dragon. He's awake. It's terrible. The king wants somebody to go kill the dragon. Guess who gets to do that? Yeah, it's you because everybody else is dead. The dungeon is constantly shifting. I, I wanted to play this game so bad because I thought it's a roguelike. I love roguelike games. I love the progression of those, you know, as you learn how to play them and you figure out the secrets. And then I played the game and I realized it's kind of roguelike, but not really. You start down here in the King's Castle. You've got Olaf over here. You can buy some items from him. Of course, you don't have any any money right now. You start out, you got 24 hearts. You got a big, you got a stick. That's all you got, right? And I uh, press start, you get quest stats. And quests are like you go kill some monsters, slay five blood worms, get 30 gold. You know, you, in slaying them, you get money anyway. But also, you'll notice up at the top a level system. As you go throughout the game, you're gonna you're gonna fight monsters. You're gonna get levels. You're gonna be able to buy more stuff. You're gonna be able to do more. I wish I could break that box. Let's go to the dungeon. We'll see if we can. So you go here, and you'll notice when you first go in, it's gonna ask you where you want to start. Once you get past level four, you can start at level four. Once you get past level seven, you can start at level seven. Level 10, beat the boss. You can start back there, go on to the next world, and you'll notice there are five worlds. Over 68 levels in this game for you to play. But if you've played League, League of Evil, then you know kind of know what's going to go on here. This is medieval League of Evil. Press the A button to jump. Hold the A button to jump higher. Press the B button to swing your sword. Oh, and look. Gold. I love gold. Actually, I think that's a bronze. Who cares? It's worth money. Down an A lets you drop three platforms. Break that stuff. Keep a high eye out for hidden rooms. Hmm, I wonder if that's a hidden room. Pretty much everything you see that's not a wall in this game is breakable. You can collect money from it. It's a blood worm. Cool thing is, is if you are swinging your sword, you can back up as you do it, not change direction so you can keep attacking those enemies. Got to find a key in each level of this dungeon to unlock the door and bada boom, you're out. There you go. So the quest has begun. Level one. This guy's a turd. that gold the cool thing about this game is gold stays where it is until you pick it up or coins whatever and so in a way this is a roguelike as all the levels are randomized you're never going to play the same level one twice especially if you die but once you die you get to keep all your upgrades you get to keep all your gold so you can use that to buy more stuff in you know in Olaf's shop at the very beginning and you're also going to keep everything you've bought so if you buy uh, more expensive armor or you buy more expensive weapons or potions or amulets or whatever that upgrade you those are always going to be there when you restart so it adds a you know you're going to you're going to compound as compound interest I, I guess you could say and you know get stronger come back go to places you couldn't get before that kind of thing. We do have the key, but we're not going to go in yet. If you press the X button, you get a nice little map. The purple dot shows the portal. Red dot shows you. It kind of shows you where you've not been. And you get an achievement for opening your map for the first time. Achievement system is kind of nice. I bet this is a secret. It is. And we get a skull, which is worth lots of gold. Perfect. Early on in the game, it is important for you to collect as much gold as possible 
because you need to do an upgrade. And you'll notice I just went to level two, so I can begin to level up here. My stamina is at 12. I probably won't do that. My dexterity, which allows me to have an extra chance at a critical hit, eh, probably not the best thing. I want more strength. I want to be able to beat things quicker. All right, let's keep on going up here. Again, most of the dungeon uh, rooms just have a looping path right here that allow you to go go through and get the most gold that you can as quickly as possible. You actually don't even have to do all of that. You can just find the key, find the exit, and get out if you want to. But it's uh, pretty good to, to get what you can while you can so that when you do get to Olaf's, which is going to happen, uh, you know, there at level four, when you have that little break, then you're able to buy some some sweet gear. And that's not cool. There's a beholder here already. Pretty powerful enemy for the first you know, part of the game. And that's kind of in my file where I'm stuck. There's a, a boss called the Ancient Beholder. It's the boss of, of the second part of the dungeon. And I have not been able to beat him yet. He's a tough cookie. Swing on over here. Let's see what's like a goblin king or something. I don't I don't even think I can get up there. No. So there's there's another way to get up there. And now I want to because yeah, there I want to know what I'm missing that I can't jump to. So kind of a little bit of Metroidvania, uh, even though I hate that term. <laughs> Kind of a little bit of a Metroidvania vibe with this game as well. Oh, it's the... It's the, it's the portal. That's what I was missing. But I do know that I cannot jump back up here. I have to go back the other way. Oh, well. And there's the key. Of course. And some levels end up being, like, really short. And some levels end up really huge. I'm going to get strength again. Just because I can. I'm not going to throw this game away anyway. Uh, I'm going to go back and play my game. So could just level up really really quick and get a bunch of strength and see what happens. I think my guy on my, uh, my file is hitting for like 33 at a time. I've got some pretty sweet armor and a sword and several potions and amulets and rings that basically what they do is... All they, all they do is they up strength and dexterity and um, give you more hit points. So they just do it in a more rapid way than, than leveling up. Kind of just bonuses or buffs. And you'll notice, I mean, there's not a lot of ceremony about this game. It's just, oh, yeah, you beat the level. Let's go on to the next one. Here's a skeleton. And, and, it, and you know, it won't tell you if you're going to face a new enemy or anything that you haven't seen before. They just they let you find that. But but don't let don't mistake that for me, you know, not liking this game. I, I've really enjoyed my time with it over the last week. 2D platformer RPG dungeon crawler. This is absolutely right up my alley. The fans of our show will know that. Zach may not like 2D platformers anymore, but I, I do. I will I'll play every one of them does not matter to me especially ones like this too where I feel like I would be remiss in not mentioning this that the controls in this game are so tight and so precise they I mean if you make a mistake it's really your fault it is not the controller you can't blame it on that like you did back in the 80s give me player 2 controller oh yeah because it's, it's my house that's how you used to tell people my house, you get the second player controller. The one with the A button that doesn't work. So, you can, oh, you can't go in Mario Kart? Oh, too bad. More strength. Alright, so we've made it through the end of level four. Now you, got, you guys get to see what happens. You meet Olaf's caravan as well as the priest. And the priest will heal you if, you don't, if you're not all the way fully up to uh, full health. But here we go to Olaf's and we see weapons, armor, potions, rings, and amulets. Potions, rings, and amulets basically all do the same thing. They kind of like have stacking buffs 
that you can have. The, the more expensive the item, the better the buff. Same thing for weapons. You'll see here, I've got a rusty sword right now, but I can get a wooden club. I can't buy anything under that until I unlock it, so I'll go ahead and buy the wooden club. It's 250. It's already equipped. And then I'll go over here to armor, and I will buy the... You don't have any armor to start with. I'll buy the combat harness. And one of the things I think is really cool is it does provide a cosmetic change for your character. They could have totally skimped on that, but they didn't. I think that's really cool. So, guys, this is Devious Dungeons. Uh, again, it's from Rattalika Games. It's on the Nintendo uh, Switch eShop right now. It's on sale for $6.49. I imagine it will go up to a full price of $9.99, I believe, April 9th. So as of the recording of this video, you've got about three days left to get this on discount for the Nintendo Switch. Hop on over to the eShop. Check this out. If you are a fan of RPGs, uh, 2D platforming games, uh, anything like, and like if you would like them to merge together in like some sweet Sunday of awesomeness, this game is for you. I highly, highly recommend it. I, if you're into that type of thing, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And uh, it gives off a very strong, you know, Dungeons and Dragons vibe with a lot of the, the enemies and things you'll encounter later. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep checking us out here on YouTube for all our content. And also check us out every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play for our brand new podcasts and all kinds of other things. Follow us on social. Check us out over at patreon.com backslash Nintendo Dads. And guys, again, we say this all the time, but we love you. Thank you for supporting our content. Thank you for supporting Nintendo Dads. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>